Well, they have indeed. It seems like there's one bone in amongst those sticks that they were busy playing with, and January kind of pulled it out and was looking at it. But I can hear some monkey's alarm calling. It's definitely monkey's alarm calling to our eastern side. Now, I wonder what's going on there. It wouldn't be for these hyenas they obviously had a den and the monkeys will have seen them probably regularly and these hyenas don't cause monkeys to alarm call but there's definitely something that's kind of s causing a bit of trauma so maybe let me just get hold of taylor and herbie quickly to let them know uh, herbie herbie yeah herbie there's monkeys alarm calling it sounds like somewhere close to via telecamp um i don't know if you want to go follow up there So Herbie's going to probably try and see if he can't get in that. Let's see if he can't try and find any sign of whatever's causing those monkeys to get upset. The hyenas don't look too perturbed by it. They're not even listening to it. And that's probably because they're all quite young. If it was older, bigger, dominant females, often when they hear monkeys alarm calling, they know that there can be another predator like leopard. And that sometimes means that there's food. And so they'll then go and trot off and try and go and investigate what's going on but I was saying just now that there was almost looked like a bone that they had there that they were kind of playing with and it was funny to watch because January pulled it and kind of took it to the out of the den and little Intima came running along and grabbed it and quickly sort of made sure that it was its own bone and took it back towards the den itself but they almost look like they're waiting for the adults to come back they keep sort of scouring around and checking and they've done a few loops of the den itself trying to sort of look out for what's going on and I would imagine that they're quite hungry and that they want food to be brought back and that's why there's lots of staring going on. Hello you. Jack, you're asking if hyenas are very social creatures. Well, yes, they are very social. Hello to you. Cards sniffing us and just kind of checking us out. You can see that very, very close indeed. Don't worry, we're not going to do anything to you. Hello, little one. This way is so cool when hyenas are so close to you and they're kind of sniffing you and having this sort of moment. It's really very, very special indeed. But back to their sort of social structures, they are very social animals. You'll find that the clan is tightly knit. There'll be a hierarchy within them, but they still will do anything they can to protect a clan member. Even if it's a low-ranking female or a male, the older females or the bigger matriarchal females will come in and they'll try and protect them. So they try and look after each other as much as possible and they try and make sure that they keep the clan healthy and, and keep them all the sort of working together you'll also find when it comes to food items if it's a large item like let's say a buffalo and there's lions there they'll work cooperatively to try and get rid of those lions so that they can all get a bit of food so they really do work quite a lot together to try and find what they need and to make sure that they find the food that they need So, Douglas, you want to know how many hyenas can dwell in the den at any given time. Well, Douglas, it's very dependent on the area. So, it th this particular clan at the moment has only got these two young ones. So, in Tima and this little one that you see poking its head out there. And so, those are the only two that are actually living in the den at the moment. Then there will be January that will hang around and not spend too much time actually inside the den, but at the den itself, and then the mothers of those hyenas. So there will be quite a few that will spend time here. But the den around Elephant Plains, which is a much larger clan, and there's over 50 of those in that clan now, they at one stage, I remember them having a den where there was 12 youngsters in the den itself, which is a lot. It was a massive termite mound, bigger than what we're even seeing here. And so there was enough space for all 12 of them to fit in. But as they started to get bigger and they got to about the size of Intima, so it started to get a bit cramped and then females actually split and they started to use two termite mounds right next to one another. And that's kind of how it went. So it just depends on the space of the termite mound and also the sort of size of the clan, which will dictate how many actually spend time with the clan. 
I mean, at the den itself. The most hyenas I've ever seen at a den, including the young ones and the adults, was 32. And that was on Elephant Plains where we had all of them together. And so you had 32 different hyenas at the den itself, which was absolutely amazing. And I think the reason why there were so many there that day is because we probably found that there was a fact that there was a carcass there so maybe one of the matriarchal females or higher ranking females brought a carcass there goes the bone inside the hole they had brought a carcass back and that then caused a bit of commotion and the rest of the hyenas then started to arrive back but quite a scene when you come around a corner and there's 32 of them sort of all around the mound and playing and moving around and vocalizing and sort of interacting with each other it's pretty magical that's for sure you see though how Intima's behavior has changed so she's still quite young and or he's still quite young I'm still yet to actually sex them but as soon as that older hyena is now left so the one that we call January is now moved away going straight towards the mound itself and towards the hole where it's going to know if anything arrives it can then just duck inside you see it's a lot more nervous now that that bigger hyena has left there's also no other adults here and so that's why they're going inside and trying to hide away because they know with no adults and no bigger hyena around they have to be very careful about what they're doing now, the fact that they've gone inside is going to probably mean that it's a good time for us to maybe try and follow up on this. Monkey alarm call. Now, Geeky Beth, you're wondering if the hyenas chew on bones to clean their teeth. Well, I would imagine there's an element of, of sort of truth cleanliness that comes from chewing bones but it's more to gain calcium out of it um, as well as the fact that they teeth they're young so they sometimes go through a teething process and chewing on things as with any sort of domestic dog you'll find when they're little ones that they do the same thing so it's a case of they will do that with sort of the bones just to kind of ease the pain of the teeth and any other sort of issues that they have careful there sir now we are going to try and head towards those monkeys alarm call they it's not for the lions because while i've been sitting here they found the tracks west of where we were checking so they must have crossed a little bit further north of us here out of this block and